All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Scalar 3. I am brand new to Scalar, so this is gonna be a first impressions, first kind of look kind of thing here. I'm gonna do like a speed songwriting slash production, how I used it. Um, it's a very deep program, and I haven't really taken the deep dive into it yet. I'm just figuring it out, but I did find a way to create some really quick songs and stuff that you could use in flowing. I'll just go over briefly here some of the features. There's a standalone version. There's a plug-in version. You can load your own VSTs into it as well for different sounds. It has a bunch of default sounds. It has a bunch of chord progressions already built in. There's a way to build your own chord progressions rather quickly. There's an arrange window here where you can build out your track. You can throw in different mini parts and different patterns and stuff like that. And when you change your chord progression, all that stuff changes to go along with it. So super cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. Again, I'm not going to go into the deep dive, but let's just take a look at the speed songwriting aspect of it. And I also use Logic Pro in here, and I use the chord chart in Logic Pro to accompany this and get even more out of it. There will be links in the video description below for the latest deal on this plugin. Uh, the links are to Plugin Boutique. They always offer a free plugin every month. There's a different one. So check out what the latest one is with there. The free plugin with purchase that is. So if you purchase this, you will get a free plugin as well. So check that out too. Let's get right into this. Let's go. All right, so let's start off in Scalar 3 here by picking a chord progressions. There's lots of ways to make chord progressions in this software. There's a lot of prearranged progressions, common chord <laughs> common chord progressions, uncommon progressions, genres, 70s funk, 80s, alternative, ambient, blues, classic chills, cinematic, artist by artist, by moods, and you have your user ones here too. So let's go by genre for this, and we'll go to hip hop. So we got our hip hop chord progression here, and we got five chords, but I'm gonna drag these down to my main track here. And then I'm gonna start going into my arrangement thing here, and we're gonna create some other parts for this. Now let's play the progression real quick here. First, I got a beat in the background too. So a couple things, they have default sounds here. Um, and we can change these around just for the purpose of this video. I'm gonna keep it quick and just leave it on the felt piano for now, because we're gonna change all these sounds and logic anyways. And this also hosts third-party VST plugins. And yeah, so there's that too. So let's just pick all these different things we got to choose from here. Uh, we got arpeggiators, we got performances, melodies. Let's pick an arpeggiated pattern here. Um, this up, and then you can preview them here as well. We'll just pick that one. We'll put in, let's say, a melodic part of some sort. Let's go into moods, calm, melodic, motif one. Let's see what that's all about. That's a bass part. Something just very common for now. And let's see what we got. Pretty cool, and again, we could change these sounds down here, but I'm gonna keep them all the felt piano for now. Now, a few other tricks we can do here is we can actually change some of these arpeggiator parts here. We got these scissors tool here. So we're gonna come in here, cut it there, let's cut those ones out. Let's actually cut that chord out. And a couple things, so we have this chopped up here. So we can come in here and change these phrases, different arpeggiators. So now we have, we just changed it right there. And of course we can change the melodic part down here as well. Pull this back up here. We can change that. We can add notes in here. So if we want to put more things in there, we could octaves and such. So there's a lot of, fine adjusting we can do here. Like just say this arpeggiated part here, for example. Mm -hmm. 
change it with octaves. The range we can change. So we can do so many things to adjust our MIDI parts here, our melodies, our bass lines, any part of any track really. Um, but again, let's just keep it simple here and keep moving along. Just wanted to show you that as well. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to drag these into Logic, these MIDI files. And we're just going to change the sounds up here. And we're going to see what that sounds like. Now, we can use this to arrange our full song and have everything in the arrangement windows here. But just again, for this purpose of this video, keeping things short and just keep moving it along. Um, lots of things we can do. So let's just get out of here now. And then we're gonna get some instruments for our MIDI parts here. And of course we could move that up an octave if we need to. Bass is kind of low, move that up an octave. Now we could do this stuff within Scalar 3 too, but I'm just transferring it over to Logic and doing it here. So now we have that. Just playing around, messing with things. Of course we can change this a million different ways. We could speed it up, make it a completely different song if we want. But let's explore adding in the Logic chord progressions in the Logic chord chart, since I am using Logic here. We'll just add them to the Logic chord chart real quick here. All right, so now we got our chord progression here. We can loop that a couple times. Now let's mute the bass. Let's add in a bass player from Logic. Let's do the pop rock for now. So after some more tweaking around here, I came up with this. Of course you can experiment until you know whatever so let me show you what I did here I took that I took that one part I just muted it I wasn't really happy with it so I just left it out I could use it for a different part of the song if I want to I took that pegiated part that we have here and I just muted the top notes and I put them on a different instrument so that's what we have here with we split that up into two different instruments And that's that. I put uh, the bass part on, obviously. I had the pad sound here I experimented with, uh, an alchemy. And, and just uh, took that bass part that we had from the original Scalar 3, put it up a few octaves. Kind of made it a melodic instrument. So pretty cool. So there you go quickly creating something that you can write your top line to mess around with again i'm just doing this real quick i could probably go in here and spend some more time and make some different parts create your own melodies on top with the keyboard and such change the sounds around to your liking we could even speed it up a bit maybe we want to completely make it a completely different thing here or do whatever you want. But that's just a quick overview of how you can use Scalar 3 and, and Logic. You don't have to use Logic if you're not using Logic, but just the chord chart in Logic makes it easier to throw in bass lines and whatever you have here for your other things. So check it out, let me know what you think, let me know if you have any questions. Again, there'll be a link down in the video description below for this. Check out my other videos floating around the screen here. If you're watching on YouTube, other platforms, check the links down below. There'll be some more 
videos and stuff that there for you as well. Stuff like that there. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, talk to you soon. That is all for now.